Forsake me not, O Lord my God. Be not far from me. Make haste and come to my help, O Lord, my strong salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, as we gather for this Eucharist, let us pause for a moment and pray in our hearts, praying to our Lord to hear our prayers and petitions. And today, as we listen to the liturgy of the world, we are reminded about the Beatitudes, how blessed, how happy are those who follow the word of the Lord. All blessings come from the Lord who has created heaven. And earth. And I pray often this Mass, praying for all your intentions, praying for all parishioners, praying for all your relatives and friends, uh, and uh, especially remembering those who passed away from our parish community. Let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer you right and praiseworthy service. Grant, we pray, that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. Elijah the Tishbite said to King Ahab, As the Lord the God of Israel lives, before whom I stand, shall there be ne neither dew nor rain these years, except by my word. The word of the Lord came to him, saying, Go from here and turn eastward, and hide yourself by the wadi Cherub, which is east of the Jordan. You shall drink from the wadi, and I have commanded the ravens to feed you there. So he went and did according to the word of the Lord. He went and lived by the Wadi Cherub, which is east of the Jordan. The ravens brought him bread and meat in the morning, and bread and meat in the evening, and he drank from the Wadi. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Our help is from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Our help is from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where will my help come? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Our help is from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. He who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. Our help is from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. Our help is from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. 
The Lord will keep you going out and you're coming in from this time on and forevermore. Our help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you, and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way they are persecuted the prophets who were before me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, we are here, you are there on the other side of the screen, but we are one community performing the work of the Church, public worship. Together we have perfect union with Christ and therefore with one another. We are united to this prayer, to this worship. Even though we are distant, we are maybe far from one another. Here we receive the blessings that come from listening to the Word of God and being nourished at the table of our Saviour. Brothers and sisters, in today's Gospel, Jesus goes up the mountain and sits down to teach. In the Old Testament, we find Moses, the great teacher, also going up the mountain to receive the law and then sitting down to teach him. However, Jesus is not receiving alone, he is giving one. Jesus pronounces blessings. Blessed are the meek, the mourning, the peacemakers, and many more. These blessings are freely given. But they can be received only by, by those who have the proper disposition to receive them. We must cooperate with God's grace in order to allow it to grow and be transformed for the kingdom. For those who Jesus named, for example, the poor in spirit, the mourning, the clean of heart, will be blessed. All of us at some point have one, if not more, of these dispositions. By our presence here, we have this desire to participate in God's grace. What a gift! 
than to come here to know that Jesus preaches this good news and offers this opportunity for union with him. If we translate the original Greek word used in uh, today's gospel, that signifies blessed, or it is translated, translated to this word, you can even say it, lucky. Lucky are those who are not attached to all those passing things of this world. Because then it gives us true freedom. And we can read this gospel in the same way as we reflect upon all those blessings and the condition to be free, lucky, to be truly blessed by God. We come here to worship the Lord. Through our prayers, through our devotion, we praise our triune God. Just yesterday, we celebrated the solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity. And we're reminded that we always pray to one God in three persons. All the time when we start our prayer, or even when we pray, just blessing ourselves with the sign of the cross, we say, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We give praise and thanksgiving. We worship our loving God, God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, who provide us with His blessing and grace. We come to receive Him, our Lord Jesus Christ, in word and in sacrament. We know that the Lord is close to us, and each of us brings something to Him in our coming together. And when we are able, in our coming to Mass, to Eucharist, May God's unconditional love and the grace of the Eucharist give us even more ways to present ourselves before Him and our hearts for further union with Him. My brothers and sisters, let us now offer our prayers to our Heavenly Father. That the Lord may continue to bless and care for all leaders of our church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Spirit may grant our civic authorities a clean heart to do God's work. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who hunger and thirst may be satisfied through the generous mercy of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all of us, gathered together and united through this prayer, may be brought ever closer to the heart and mind of Christ through his word and sacrament. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may know the peace and comfort of God's eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray now in the silence of our hearts for all our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, gracious and good, hear the prayers we offer with confidence and answer them according to your holy will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Through of the earth and the work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and all peace, Holy Church. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it in you. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the beautiful, so that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chance, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, 
and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and for by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us now pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that, renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift, 
for receiving what they promised through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, just an, an announcement that uh, tomorrow uh, we'll break from the streaming, so don't look for the um, Mass online tomorrow from our church. Uh, just, uh, you know, you can uh, try to find uh, another Mass uh, streamed online or just pray from home and uh, we'll resume at um, the same time on Wednesday and hopefully soon maybe beginning of July we'll be reopening the churches uh, that are working on on that program and uh, see what what is going to happen so uh, this uh, week is actually uh, we busy with all those meetings and uh, webinar all those meetings online so uh, um, I need all that time to, to be there and um, and watch and see what needs to be done for, for the churches to reopen. So uh, uh, please uh, be patient, pray for the quick uh, and safe reopening of the churches so we can be again reunited. And now let us ask for God's blessing and may God bless you abundantly, all your families and friends. The Lord be with you. And, with your spirit. and may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. And Salva, may God bless you all.